Old Orchard Beach stretches seven miles along the main coast. Thrill seekers flock to the summer hotspot every year, bringing big appetites. Old Orchard is a very unique place. Old Orchard's boardwalk is a playground for foodies, and the pier is home to restaurants and food stands with ambiance unlike any other New England spot. You're 600 feet over the ocean. You know, it doesn't get much better than that, you know? You get to eat seafood all over the ocean. Paul Goldsbein owns the pier, which dates back to 1898. He says his great-grandfather, Nate Wolf, was the pier's first tenant. He sold souvenirs to tourists. And then my grandfather was a tenant, and then my father and I bought it when it came up for sale. But the family's been here since well over, well over 125 years. Goldsbein says his family has reinvented the pier over the decades. It once hosted acts including Duke Ellington and Frank Sinatra. Today, it's a casual dining spot with a nostalgic vibe. Goldsbein transformed his great-grandfather's gift shop into Hooligan's Landing, an Irish pub. But I told my father we were going to switch it over to a, to a, a restaurant. He said, you sure you want to do that? And it's been a home run ever since. Goldsbein says the dinner crowd flocks to hooligans for mouth-watering steaks, but the seafood is the main draw after a day at the beach. He says the pub sells more than 30,000 lobster rolls in the summer season. Maine is famous for its lobster, and we, did, we put out a hell of a lobster roll here. The center of the pier is a fast food lover's paradise. Fried dough, fried Snickers, and fried Oreos among the beach snack selections. We probably see anywhere from a minimum of 15,000 to 20,000 people a day on this pier. It's fun. We sell fun. That's what we do here. Ambrosia Estrada is a server and manager of the pier's crown jewel, the Patio Pub. It's a great scene. Estrada is a fixture at the patio. She says she slowed down just slightly since starting work here in 2005. I'd be a weekend warrior and work Friday, Saturday, crazy hours. Um, on Friday nights after my shift, I'd come down to the beach and I would sleep on the beach and then I'd go in for my shift the next day. No surprise, there's more seafood here. The selection includes oysters, lobsters, steamers, and the captain's platter. A mountain of scallops, clams, shrimp, and haddock. And you have the atmosphere, the view, and it's just great. It all comes together. Steps from the pier is another Old Orchard Beach institution, Pier French Fries. They're easy to eat on the beach, you know, other things, ice cream melts. One thing many OOB eateries have in common, they've been around forever. Pier French Fries opened in 1932 on the actual pier. The restaurant moved to solid ground after the blizzard of 78 left the pier in ruins. Today, Tiffany and Alan Buat are the owners. We're surprised sometimes on 95 degree days people want hot French fries, but right. thank God they do. So we still go through a lot of them. But on a busy day, we've done as much as what, 6,000 pounds? Yes. The fries are hand cut, mainly by the Buat son, Thomas. They recommend drizzling the crunchy creations with a bit of white vinegar. It's unique. Yeah, yeah. if you don't, I mean, if you like salt and vinegar chips, I think it's kind of similar to that. Poutine is a hot seller at Pier Fries. Yes, gravy at the beach. French fries with cheddar cheese curds with hot gravy on top. It's delicious. In 2021, the Buats purchased neighboring Bill's Pizza, another popular beach eats destination. That shop opened in 1949. We try not to change anything. You know, the recipe we bought this, exactly the same. So everything is homemade right down to we shred our own cheese. Every single thing. There's a special sauce that actually came from a Sicilian woman from the 30s. The Buats say running a family business on Old Orchard Beach is grueling work, but rewarding. You're the face of the place, so you got to make sure everything's right, so there's that responsibility and pressure. A few blocks away, the Langlois family runs three separate eateries under one big roof. Big bites, big shots, and big licks. Rob and Sherry Langlois, or mom and dad, are in charge of ice cream. The Langlois are serious about the big brand. The scoops are huge. They're softball-sized scoops. Rob is partial to ice cream cones. People come up off the beach and they're walking around the entire footprint of downtown with their ice creams. Heavy pedestrian foot traffic, it's perfect for ice cream food, really. 
Shari says an ice cream sandwich might be a less messy choice. There are two chocolate chip cookies that are freshly baked with a huge scoop of ice cream in between them. And we do it, we make it to order and they pick whatever ice cream they want. Son Christian is in charge of Big Bites, a burger joint offering eat-in and take-out. His brother Cameron heads up the bar, Big Shots, also on brand. 1.5 is a normal shot, we do three ounce for our Big Shots. We want it to be a little unique. The Big Shots flavors are unique as well. They include the Starburst, Peanut Butter Cup, and PB&J. It start off with a little screwball, throw it into a mixer with some ice, a little strawberry pucker, which adds the jelly flavoring that you're looking for. The family first opened Big Licks ice cream in 2008 and expanded as the Langlois boys grew older. My dream. Great. Yeah, we always envisioned that. Wow, and at Big Licks, Sherry and Rob make all the ice cream themselves, mm. homemade, 80 plus flavors. Favorite one is Cookie Monster, actually, oh. which is a blue vanilla base with every possible cookie smashed inside. Yummy! <laughs> um, as for pure french fries, that menu, much simpler. It's fries, it's poutine, hot dogs. That's it. Oh, my kids would love that one. Mm -hmm. All right.